Welcome to another video. So, Mitral has launched their two new models, which are Codestral Mamba, 7B, and Mathstral. The Mathstral model is based on the Mistral 7B model and is for math-related tasks, which I obviously won't be able to cover because I don't know math. But, it's great if you use LLMs for that. I'll be mainly focusing on the Codestral Mamba, 7B model. They say that it's the smaller sister of the Codestral 22B model, based on the Mamba architecture, which is different from the GPT architecture that almost every model uses. Although explaining Mamba in this video will make it an hour long, I'll try to tell you about it briefly and explain its benefits. Mamba is based on the SSM, or State Spaces, architecture. SSMs use recurrent models that process information selectively, whereas transformers process information sequentially. This allows Mamba to filter out unnecessary information and focus on the main parts of the context, enabling faster inference on bigger contexts. The architecture of Mamba is also pretty simplified, and it is much more hardware efficient as well. So, that's what this new model is using, and it's smaller as well, making it great to be used in a co-pilot scenario. The model also has a 256K context limit, which is quite cool. Now, let's look at the benchmarks. In the Human Evil benchmark, it beats DeepSeek V1 and others in its range, which is quite good. In the MBPP benchmark, it falls behind a little to DeepSeek V1. In the Cruxy benchmark, it even beats its bigger sister, which is also quite cool. In the next Human Evil subject benchmarks, it also beats others in C and JavaScript, but can't beat DeepSeek in Java and Bash. Also, I don't understand why they have made the MBPP score bold when it doesn't beat DeepSeek in this benchmark. Overall, it's pretty cool in benchmarks. Anyway, Codestral Mamba is under an Apache 2 license, making it usable for commercial purposes as well, unlike the bigger sister. The model is not available on Olama, but Mathstral is available. So, it seems that Olama doesn't support the new architecture. Also, it's not available anywhere to try. Mistral has a hosted API you can use, but using it locally is a big hassle. To use it locally, I had to follow the steps given on the Hugging Face page, which is a hassle. But let me walk you through it. First, you'll need to run this pip install command. Once done, run Python 3, and the code interpreter will open up. Paste these lines one by one, and it will start downloading the model files. Once done, Run the third command, and you should see this chat interface in your terminal. So, now let's test it out from here. But, before we do that, I'd like to tell you about today's sponsor, On Demand. Creating AI products can be hard, but with On Demand, it doesn't have to be. On Demand accelerates AI development with advanced RAG systems, slashing your development time. With On Demand, you can access a wide range of models from OpenAI, Gemini, and more. You can integrate these with multiple plugins from the marketplace, giving your LLMs real-time access to various services and knowledge bases. You can customize them even further by creating your own plugins from your knowledge base or API, tailoring the LLMs to your specific needs. You can also share your plugins on the marketplace for rewards. From aviation and event experts to real estate and home automation, On Demand lets you create AI agents for every need. Visit ondemand.io and get started now for free. So, now let's get back to the video. I'll be testing it out through these nine questions. So, let's get started. The first question is, what is the number that rhymes with the word we use to describe a tall plant? The answer to this should be three, because it rhymes with tree or nine, because it rhymes with vine. Here's the answer from it. 
And as you can see, it doesn't answer it correctly. It's a fail. The next question is, I have two apples, then I buy two more. I bake a pie with two of the apples. After eating half of the pie, how many apples do I have left? The answer to this should be two. Here's the answer from Mamba, and as you can see, it doesn't answer it correctly either. So, let's mark it a fail as well. The next question is, Sally is a girl. She has three brothers. Each of her brothers has the same two sisters. How many sisters does Sally have? The answer to this should be one. Here's the answer from Mamba, and as you can see, it doesn't answer it correctly either. So, this one's a fail as well. The next one is, if a regular hexagon has a short diagonal of 64, what is its long diagonal? The answer to this should be 73.9. Here's the answer, and as you can see, it also doesn't answer this question correctly either. Now, the next ones are coding questions, which it should be good at. So, the first one is, create an HTML page with a button that explodes confetti when you click it. You can use CSS and JS as well. Here's the code that it generated. If we look at it, you can see that it works. But the confetti is in a line, which doesn't look like confetti. But because the logic is correct over here, I'll give this a pass. The next question is, write a Python function that prints the next 20 leap years. Reply with only the function. Here's the code it has generated. If we run it, you can see that this also works correctly. So, this one's also a pass. The next question is, generate the SVG code for a butterfly. Here's the code that it generated. If we preview it, you can see this doesn't look like a butterfly. So, let's keep this a fail. The next question is, write an HTML page. This HTML page is a landing page for an AI company. They prefer a modern and minimal looking interface with animations. Now, here's the code from it. Let's run it and check. Okay, so it's only two or three lines and nothing. But it looks fine and can be amended by more prompts. So, I'll also keep this a pass. The next question is, write a game of life in Python that works on the terminal. Okay, here's the code. Let's run it and check. Okay, so, although the main game board shows up fine, it doesn't spawn new cells and stuff. So, this one's also a fail. Now, here's the final chart. As you can see, this Codestral Mamba model passes three out of the five coding questions, which is good, although I would have liked it to pass at least one of the general questions, because that would have meant it can also be used in agentic tasks where basic writing needs also become necessary apart from coding. But I think this should be a good model for Copilot since it also has a 256k context limit. So let me know if you guys want a Copilot video with this. Although it will be a hassle to set up because Olama doesn't support it, but I think it can be done. So let me know in the comments. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.